everybody, my name is Cara on Fire and welcome to Enshrouded. Today we have some really exciting news because roadmap, it is coming. And by coming, I mean it's already come. And a brand new update apparently coming this month to Enshrouded. I'm looking forward to see what happens. I still love Enshrouded and it's been a ball to play. So I'm hoping we get some more content or something fun to work on. I don't know. I have to do some building and all that good stuff. But let's get straight to the roadmap because that's probably what you're here for. And here it is. It is uh, really small because it has a lot of stuff on it. But if we zoom in a bit, we could see a lot more here. So you can see early access roadmap 24. So they plan to get all of this in this year. So that's impressive. We'll have to see on that one. But hey, but they're saying this is planned for our next few updates based on your suggestions. So if you don't know, Entrada have like a feedback board that they open sometimes. And then those that are like top and trending, you know, you can vote on your favorites on what systems you'd like in the game. At the moment, at the top, it's allow player-based quest progression, which absolutely, that has been a pain for servers, uh, not having it like that, because it's worldwide at the moment, which is a huge pain in the bum. People want weather, water, livestock and animals. This one's huge for me. I would love that. Life skill progression and workshops and much, much more is what people were voting for. So it's nice they're taking player suggestions into consideration here, but let's have a look at some of these, shall we? So we have Hollow Halls Dungeons. Ooh, what could that be? There's a lot of structures on the map that are like doors to nowhere, so maybe they could use some of those up to make these kind of things. Steam Deck support, which will be super nice. Performance improvements, always good. Stonks. <laughs> Smoother, high FPS gameplay. Ooh, very nice. Location improvements. The map is a little dodgy sometimes, so it's a bit like precarious to find where you are. Improved loot UI. Ooh, yes, I like that. Workshops craft from magic chests. Ooh, yeah, that would be cool. Better stacking splitting. Yep, 100% agree on that. Improved post processing. Might help with the, the blaring, glaring kind of deal. Sitting on furniture. Ooh, sitting on your chairs. It looks like they got that one working already because there's an Enshrouded character sitting in a chair. So that's probably coming very soon. And I think anything you see in here that's like really obvious to be something like the pot of plants. I bet that's probably coming in the next update as well. Reassignable glider shortcut. Ooh, so you can switch out gliders on the fast one or the slower ones. Multiple NPC instances. More trees to grow, so grow your own trees out of your plants by the looks of it. Round doors and windows, potted plants, new building materials. Ooh, lovely. That looks like a bricky one in the background there. Replayable world quests. Yep, that would be pretty cool. Better quest sorting. Yes, it is hard to see where and what quests you've done sometimes. I hope you get to sort by blacksmith or the carpenter or the farmer kind of thing. Server gameplay settings. Yes, this is a big one. You can barely change like any settings within a shrouded server, so this would be cool. Server user rights. Yep. Townsfolk NPCs. So maybe you could see some of the settlements you see around the world getting populated. Vanity system. Yep. Yeah. Better than vanity system. Or maybe more NPC. Uh, well, not NPC. Character options. Always good. Edible site. Edible? <laughs> Editor. Oh my goodness, we're having a we're having one. All right, editable signs. There we go. We got it. <laughs> yeah, having that for your chests would be nice. It would be nice if they're small enough to kind of like sit on the chest, or maybe like just below it or something as well. Or maybe just completely on the chest, you have a little name like a white name that sits on top that you could type in. Musical instruments. That's an interesting one. Townsfolk pets. Yes, pets. Animal farming. This one I want the most, honestly. Enemy patrols that might add a bit more life into the world. A weather system I think you might see maybe very soon because it's very, very popular. Mountains biome. Maybe that's the cold biome that we see, but we can't really do anything with it. Portals to other servers. Ooh, maybe. Nameable bases, 100%. Even with their competition the other day, like <laughs> I was watching the streamer go around the world and he didn't even know which ones were the actual places he needed to go. So yeah, nameable bases is, is definitely essential if they do any more contests like that absolutely uh, nameable map locations yes yes very good multiplayer pings yeah that would be great so you could be like go here and then they could show them where to go 
Named tombstones? Yes, yes, 100%. New enemies and bosses. Ooh, there is quite a lot of the same bosses on the Enshrouded, so it would be nice to see some different variety in there. They also have fixes and polishing, which is always essential and great. And then down here they say, here is a glimpse at some of the other major features coming later this year on our early access. So if not this year, then the next year, won't it be? Because uh, that's a lot of stuff to fit in one year already up there. So wouldn't be surprised if that would come at a later date, all of this stuff. So they're saying sharing and visiting of bases. So maybe like a blueprint system or something like that. Create and share gameplay experiences. I'm not sure what that would entail quite. It's a bit vague. Maybe it would be like sharing maps or something, but you can already do that. So I don't know what they have planned there, but interesting enough. World events. Yeah, that would definitely be cool and then shrouded. I could see world events popping off. Instance dungeons. That, yeah, yep. Yeah, I would like that. Even just world dungeons are fine. Like, I don't mind that. More biome absolutely would love to see more biomes the map is still like really huge and there's much more you could do beyond what there is already so maybe some kind of swamp biome big tree biome like something like that that would be really good and water which is a nice addition i wonder how they're going to add it if you'll be able to swim in it or not that's like a whole thing so that would be interesting to see if it does come forth at some point i have seen some pretty interesting interpretations to water so yeah <laughs> people using flax or the bioluminescent blocks is pretty cool but yeah that is the whole dealio with the roadmap and everything planned that is coming this year or later this year or maybe next year let me know what you're most looking forward to in this list for me definitely the farm animals and if you want to see more in shrouded make sure to subscribe to the channel because i am doing a lot of videos on shrouded and there will be many more in the future whenever there is important updates so make sure you stay tuned because that's when you're going to know and find out when those things are coming out and the details and what they entail and guides and all that good stuff they also had a bit of a segment on their discord where they talked about where we'll be having a new update on here there's also going to be a Steam Spring Sale with the game's first discount on March 14th to the March 21st. So you'll be able to have a discount on the game if you haven't got it yet. And yeah, they did say update when this month. So in the month of March, we'll be getting a nice update. I don't know how big it's going to be, but they do say maybe we'll see you around the hollow halls. So it looks like we're going to be getting those uh, this month. So I'm excited for whatever that is. And I can't wait to play it because Enshrouded is su such a good game, dude. It's like, I'm so happy with it. So I can't wait to find out what that entails. But yeah, let me know what you think about the roadmap. I'm looking forward to it. I want more content in the game. I want to play more. So uh, yeah, hopefully we'll be able to get that soon. We'll be able to get our flax on and all that beautiful stuff. So fingers crossed. And I guess I'll see you in the new update, which is coming very soon. So anyway, thank you for watching. Love you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.